Hello and how's it going guys? Thank you for joining me for an episode of Barbeta TV. I'm joined here with Brad Foster. Hello. And I'm so sorry that it's been so long since we've recorded an episode. It's been it's about true. a month. It's true. But, you know, we were kind of, well, I was kind of on my own mid-season finale, even though I didn't want to be. Um, yeah. Just, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, tornado happened. Uh, shit went down. It was yeah. bad. Bad F4 tornado. Lots of people dead. Well. More people injured. Yeah. Um, it was very, it was very unfortunate. And if you hadn't seen anything, it just look it up on the internet. Look up tornado and no, Garland, actually, I made, Texas. I made a whole post about yeah. the about the F four tornado on my blog. And go check it out. I will always have the links in the description and probably on screen. But um, yep. there's just a lot of things that have kind of gone crazy for the past month. Um, True. I mean, it's been a holiday season. Yep. Mid season finale, tornado, bad stuff, and just trying to spend family time. Um. So it's kind of been boo boo, poo poo on your face, but <laughs> let's get right into it. Um, I think the things what I want to talk about is this is going to be like a little revamp okay. before we get into the new mid season finales or mid season premieres. Yes, sorry, it's the better word. And um, the new shows that are coming in, and I have a little thing that I want to talk about that we talked about on LNR. It's true. Check it out. But um, just to so you can mark your calendars. Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow comes out on the 19th, 20th, and 21st, respectively. Three days in a row of Three superhero days. awesomeness. And on one of those days, the 19th, we have Agent Carter, since mi the mid-season finale... Of Agents. Of Agents just took is going to take forever, like they always do. Yep. Which is very sad. <laughs> it's Marvel. What are you going to yeah. do? Yeah. But I personally they're, love they're Agent gonna, Carter. They're going to tie it in to, oh, yeah. to the new movie. But I, I love do. Agent Carter. It's, it's a great show. I love oh, yeah. how it feels. Oh, yeah. Um, but another show that we have to look forward to, which I can't wait for, it's going to be coming out on the 25th of January, and it is Lucifer. Oh, yeah, Lucifer. It's going to be good. Based off the DC Comics Lucifer, the one that looks like David Bowie, may he rest in peace. Not just Satan. Yeah, not, not, <laughs> just, not just Beelzebub. Yeah, just not the normal one. This is the awesome one. <laughs> the or, awesome devil. Or if you're satanic, <laughs> they're all awesome. Um, but... Yeah, Lucifer is going to be a great show. If you haven't seen the trailer, go check it out. It looks awesome. It looks really good. It looks really funny too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's just Lucifer being Lucifer. Yeah. I mean, he's the devil. You know, he makes double-ended deals all the time. Mm -hmm. I think I think I remember showing you the trailer. For oh, that. Yeah, you, yeah, you were the one yeah. who showed me the trailer. Um, but sadly, we have to wait for Gotham and Agents of Shield. Gotham is not coming on till February 29th. The last day of February. Yeah. We have to wait to see Mr. Freeze then. I know. It, Even it, it if was, they it show was, it. It was confirmed to be Mr. Freeze. Yep. I thought maybe it would have been some weird femme freeze <laughs> like they did with Firefly. But, you know, I, it was it was a fair fair little theory I could have mm -hmm. had. But oh, you yeah. know, it was confirmed by, by showrunners that it would be Victor. Mm -hmm. So... Looking forward to it. Um, I still, I still can't believe like what I saw during the mid-season finale of that. One, still just seeing, seeing Gordon kill Galavan like that. I didn't expect that to happen at all. And then just at the very end, you know, machine guy, cold gun. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> and something I do want to go back on because I just read this is not the secret thing. It's not that secret. It's just kind of very sad, but. Uh -oh. Kevin Smith is going to be directing, directing an the episode. Flash. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited about that. That's going to be I'm good. I'm so excited. I love Kevin Smith. Fat Man on Flash. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be very fun. I cannot I kind of hope he makes a cameo appearance, too. Yeah, that'd be great. Even if it's just <laughs> something really stupid and really small. Just him like, dressed up as Batman. Just... <laughs> I was thinking him dressed up like Silent Bob. Uh, <laughs> just like yeah. Barry running through the city and like maybe maybe do like the... the Silent Bob's just like... Do like the, the slow motion bullet time and as Barry's running by like a convenience store you see just Silent Bob chilling out like outside. <laughs> Jay comes Something out of dumb. the store. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. That'd be so funny. I'd be happy. I'd um, be so happy. <laughs> but one of the, the thing that I do want to talk about that is very sad that I was really looking forward because of we did not get to finish Young Justice True. was Teen Titans is cancelled. Yep. Already. That sucks. That just got posted five days ago, and I just read it today. Yeah, like not didn't even get a chance to get out of the water. Yeah, that, which really because it was from what I read, it's. I mean, I know what it what it is, but it came out on the height of the superhero craze, the superhero adaption right. craze. Which now that it's gone down, it's still very very strong going. 
I would watch a live action Teen Titans no matter what. Are I, you kidding me? Give me give me a live action Raven. Give me a live action Beast Boy Starfire. Nightwing. Show me yeah, exactly. Show me Nightwing. Yeah. Show me Dick Grayson beyond the stupid yellow cape and weird boy shorts. Yep. Um but uh, and Cyborg. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. But they can't do Cyborg now cuz Cyborg is actually going to be in Batman vs Superman. Yeah. Well, and actually it's not that it's bad. It's just that DC has this stupid thing where they don't want their TV shows and their movies running over each other, which is dumb. Yeah. It's so dumb. I mean, honestly, it's something I talk about on the podcast every now and then with Christian, but cause Marvel has their shit together. Like, like they, they encourage their shows and their movies to it's interlace. Yeah. yeah. And for some reason, DC is like, no, we don't like that. That's yeah. weird. Peas and carrots go separate. Yeah. I mean, we love DC, but you're I messing do. up. You're they messing do. up. They are messing up hardcore. But still, just the fact that we can't see that is very sad. Because it is. Absolutely it's something is. we wanted really bad. And since they took away Young Justice, they gave us Teen Titans Go. Like, we don't have anything of that sort that's... Mm. Nope, there's no, there's no young adult... Uh, no young adult superhero thing. Yeah. Maybe, you know, you could make the argument that Arrow and the Flash is more for young adults, especially because it's on the CW. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, it kind of, it kind of crosses the line here and there. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's not, it's, well, one, it's not a cartoon. Uh, although they do have, uh, The Vixen. They do have the Vixen series, which was picked up for season two. Yeah. And we get to see the actual actress, Vixen, coming into Arrow. Yeah. Be very nice. That's gonna be cool. Yeah. But there's, there's nothing to fill, to fill that market. And, you know, they decided to, instead of, like, grow the audience with Teen Titans or Young Justice and give, you know, that sort of, like, Batman the Animated Series thing to that age demographic, they decided to go younger. Yeah. With Teen Titans go something much more cartoony, something much more Looney Tunes, like the chibi Japanese art style, and yep. it's it suits the demographic for what it does. Like little kids love it. I mean, because it's silly, it's goofy, it's off the wall, but it's not something that you know a teenager or like an eighteen year old or even like someone Ryan and I's age. It's not something that we would watch and actually sort of enjoy. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and the funny thing is that I do have a friend that enjoys Teen Titans Go because he was a big fan of Teen Titans whenever the original Titans was out, and freaking Ron Perlman was slayed like a yeah. badass. <laughs> I remember when I found out that was Ron Perlman, I was like, are you kidding? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hellboy is Slade, oh my god. Yeah. But, like, so, I have a friend, he actually enjoys Teen Titans Go, and I feel weird. Yeah. I feel weird anytime he's like, hey, let's watch Teen Titans Go, and I'm no. like, why don't you no. shoot me in the dick? Yeah, because, I mean, there's there's this meme that, like, compared, like, the characters t- from the respective ones, like, from Teen Titans to Teen Titans Go, and it's like, the character development is even just shit. Like, it's yep. crap. Like, Raven just some emo chick instead of Satan, basically. Well, like if Raven was never Satan. She wasn't Satan, but her father was the devil. Her like, father was a demon. Yeah. Like, a big, bad, bad guy. Yeah, but, like, she wasn't just some emo chick. She was actually, like, dark. And, she had layers, like yeah. an ogre. So we just have... There's no character development in these shows. Beast Boy, you know, Beast Boy, actually, he had his own character arc where he was still learning how to grow and adapt to his powers and become part of the group, and mm-hmm. now he's just, like, the silly... Hey, look what I can do. Exactly. Robin is <laughs> the like... The Wonder Twins unite! Yeah. <laughs> Robin is like this sort of, like, almost grimdark, I'm Batman, but I'm not Batman thing, but he also tries to be funny. Starfire is the idiot. Uh, Cyborg is Which just like... Which they made her super idiot when, yeah. in, on Teen Titans, she's the actual, like... She's just from a different planet, and she's yeah. super cheery. She's, she's cheery. She's the voice of reason. Yeah. And, yeah, in Teen Titans Go, they make her a dumb dumb. Cyborg yeah. is, like, the token funny black guy. <laughs> Why? Why do that to a great character? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Uh. <laughs> and I, I say that especially with, like, the success of Star Wars The Force Awakens, a movie that stars its main protagonist as a female and a black man. You can do great, awesome, amazing things with these characters. It doesn't always have to be a white guy. It doesn't have to be. It really doesn't have to be. Yeah. You can do so many cool things without trying to put people in shitty, arbitrary archetypes. Eh. Yep. That's that's what I'm going to say about Stupid that. Stupid teen times ago. Yep. Moving on. <laughs> Bring back times. Bring back Constantine. Do it! Yeah, for real. <laughs> Bring back Constantine. Oh my god. Bring they ruined the good shows. Like, they're taking away our really good shows. Like, honestly... I love Gotham, and I'm uh, this coming from me. Like, I love Gotham, yeah. but I'd probably rather want to see Titans, in my personal opinion. That's, that's just fair. because that's... That's fair. Yeah. 
I, anything anything that gives me more Matt Ryan as John Constantine, yeah. I'm okay with. Like seeing him in the season of Arrow just to bring back Constantine. Yeah, I was happy. <laughs> that made the whole season for it you. It did. It really. And I, the thing is, like we talked about, it, like I forgot that he was even going to appear, and then like I heard the music and I saw him, and I was like, Hercules, Hercules! <laughs> I just, I got all stupid and happy. It was great. Yep. Uh, so I mean, and I really, I think the thing that killed Constantine as a show was the time slot. Definitely the time slot, because they they put it on like on a Wednesday, and then super they, late at night yeah. on an awkward day. Yeah. If they had put it like on a Sunday or a Friday. Thing, like the biggest days for TV, and if you put it in a bigger, in a better time slot, like seven PM, and to, I mean, it, they ran something like fucking Mike and Molly, yeah, in that slot over over fucking Constantine. Like, why run two two reruns of like fat people that no one cares about? And I'm, I know I'm not one to talk, but Mike and Molly was a dying show, and instead you could have just brought new life to a show that people like us actually cared about. Yep. Ah. Uh, we were, we were so close to a live-action Spectre. God damn yeah. it. We saw a hint of it. But, you know, the Nielsen rating is just the greatest rating system in the world. So, but bullshit. We need to integrate live streaming into it. Not live streaming. We need to integrate <laughs> streaming into it. They are a little bit. But the yeah, thing is, but they, more. They, they only count like one view per household on the internet. Yeah. Which is dumb as hell. Dumb as hell. Yep. But, you know, what can we do? hope that netflix or something else saves it yeah again netflix hulu come on hulu I... pick up titans do it what we have a cut we did sorry <laughs> about that but it's fine um this is going to be the end of the episode uh, thank you for joining um what i want to do something for more episodes is i want to recommend something like either a show comic or anything like a youtube video but i think today i want to do a show to recommend that we have been watching or i've been watching either or mm-hmm um, one from each of us. Um, for me personally, there's been two shows that I watched recently. I completed uh, Into the Badlands, nice, which I really liked. It was really nice. If you're a fan of Breaking Bad, it has. A, I mean, obviously it's an AMC show. <laughs> it has the Breaking Bad feel to it, but it's like Kill Bill mixed with Mad Max, and it's nice. It's great. And uh, probably the second one I just started, so I don't know if it's great yet. But um, Expanse, I just started the Expanse. Oh, the ex- I, thought, I thought you just said Spance. No, Expanse. <laughs> it's a sci-fi show that it, it seems really cool. It's really effects heavy, but since especially being on the sci-fi channel, it, they, they it put, looks better than normal. Yeah, it doesn't look like Sharknado, <laughs> but it is very well done. I'm very proud. <laughs> it looks better than Sharknado. What yeah. more can you ask for? Which is funny. The main character, or I don't know if he's he's not the main character, but one of the like main protagonists. He looks a lot like uh, what's I don't know his real name, Detective Quentin Lance. He oh, looks like yeah. a younger version of Detective Quentin Lance. That's interesting. Yeah, but uh, those are my shows to recommend, Brad. Uh, I have a bunch. Oh my god, I have a bunch. Um, one, if you've never seen Doctor Who, get on that. Uh, they recently did the Christmas special this year, The Husbands of River Song. Amazing. Um, a, a comedy show that I actually really like is Brooklyn Nine Nine. Andy Samberg's comedy, his funny, cop funny. drama. It's it's pretty great. <laughs> For an actual drama, there is How to Get Away with Murder. It's another good show if you haven't seen it. Please do. Uh, and the most recent thing that I have been watching on Netflix, in the uh, in the absence of all our superhero TV, it's another sci-fi show. It's called Dark Matter. Oh. And Dark Matter, it's um, think of like Inverse Firefly. So you know what Firefly is. It's all these people on a spaceship doing all these missions. Uh, Dark Matter. Um, I don't, I don't want to give away the secret. I, I really don't. Uh, so I'll, I'll tell you a bit about the pilot because you should watch it. Um, six different people wake up on a spaceship uh, in the middle of a hypersleep. All of them have amnesia. And they all find out something secret about each other. They all learn about their own hidden talents. And towards the end, big reveal, and it moves you into episode two, and it's a, it's an awesome twist. It's much better than anything M. Night Shyamalan has ever done. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. It's a, it's a sci-fi show. you got space exploration. you got cool dynamic characters. Um, it's pretty much everything that you would like if you like that sci-fi genre in one little encapsulated package. Yes. Well, um, once again, thank you for joining. Sorry. Again, I can't say I'm sorry enough for the lack of videos, but Me we will be coming back full force. Thank you for watching. Any shameless plug for your uh, uh, 
podcast? Always, always a shameless plug for the podcast. So please check out uh, Late Night Ramblings with me, Brad Foster, and other people like Ryan, Christian, Mark, uh, all my fun friends and co-hosts that I have on. I've also been jumping more into the YouTube forum myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I had played a bit of Dual Masters Shadow of the Code on my YouTube, and most recently, something that Ryan and I are also about to do, is I've been playing Pokemon Crystal. Ooh. So if you're a fan of Pokemon, the most recent episode of LR was Pokemon related, and we're going to be doing Pokemon Crystal, so please check it out. Definitely go check that out. And thank you for watching. You're watching Barbeta TV and YouTube. I guess we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye.